Church, for this next match, I'm going to bring out a very special MC. She is the FFW CEO and owner, Miss Rebecca! Oh, God. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Glenn, but I was kind of hoping we wouldn't see her face tonight. I hope that she's out here to give me an apology. After the way her husband threatened me, last time we were here, this better be the long-awaited apology from Miss Rebecca to Stigma McTaggart. It's your favourite person. Good evening. Am I on? Oh, I am now, good. So the last time we were here, TJ moved up to the main roster. And Phoenix was a little bit unhappy about this because, quite rightly, she's been here longer than him. Some may say that she's worked harder than him. So I've decided that I'm going to let her have a match. And if she wins, she too gets to go up to the main roster. And the reason is, is I want her to be able to go for the ladies' championship. So, the next match, introducing first. So basically, she's booked a match, so things work out the way she wants. I mean, that, does that not some fight factor up in general? Well, Phoenix has got to win before any of that happens. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring the former under-18s champion, Phoenix! Member of the Lincoln County Regulators. Possibly a technically a tag team champion too. I'm not quite sure how that works. Probably a little bit of screw loose. I mean, do we really need any more Lincoln County Regulators on the, the main roster? I, I think there's, there's probably more hiding back there. Phoenix. They're all related as well. Phoenix, the first under 18s junior champion. Well, she has had much success in the juniors division, of course. Absolutely. But she's facing someone technically undefeated. And introducing her opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring at this time, TJ! No Harry the Money Machine with him today. He is riding solo. Well, I'm not sure he needs him. It was a pretty impressive performance last time out, which is why he's now uh, officially a member of the main roster. And look at that, he doesn't pander to these idiots in the crowd either. He walks alone, he does what he wants. going to be possibly Phoenix's toughest match to date. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I think in terms of uh, the people that she's faced so far, she's not faced anybody from the main roster yet. Yeah, that's, that's actually a good point. Aside from a few battle rolls and rumbles, this is her first main roster experience. I mean, just from looking at them, you've got to think that TJ's got the size and strength advantage. Yeah, he's a little powerhouse, is uh, TJ. Referee JB, checking them both. And here we go. Here we go, crowd on Phoenix's side. TJ wanted to send a message here, of course. This is his first match as a main roster member, so he's not going to want to lose to somebody who he perceives as being below him. Oh, look out. Oh, wow! Oh, she went for the backslide immediately. Did you see the way that TJ rolled out of that? That was incredibly intelligent ring awareness. Oh, Phoenix rolled out of that. Oh. Whoa, big clothesline. Both tried to close out each other, but Phoenix didn't go down. Maybe she's stronger than we're giving her credit Whoa. for. Oh, TJ not. sending that message back, though. Oh. TJ, I guess he was caught off guard by that first one, but now he's prepped for it. He's inviting it, in fact. Oh, oh. Phoenix big e. clothesline there, and TJ hold it, uh, so Phoenix holding her face there. Phoenix, uh, inexperienced, fell for that little trickery. So for Phoenix to win this, she's, she's really going to have to outsmart TJ somehow because power and strength is very much on the side of TJ. 
And I'd say they're just about as quick as each other. Yeah, I, th I think you're probably right. So, yeah, it's going to be... TJ's has got to... Yeah, like you said, it's got to outsmart him. And TJ's got that extra bit of build, of course, as well, so... Yeah, he is undefeated, even though he's... I mean, he's technically only have one match, but he won it, so he's undefeated. Absolutely, absolutely. And, of course, he's using his, his intelligence there to keep her trapped in that corner. He's utilising that five count, which, again, is what Ryan Idle perhaps didn't do that well on the pre-show. He tried a similar tactic, but TJ a little bit more confident there. He's talking trash to Phoenix. That's one thing getting beaten up, but you don't want your opponent talking trash while they're doing it. <laughs> Well, it's all part of the strategy, Glenn. Yeah. That's how you win these matches. You get in your opponent's head. I completely agree. And I think it might work. Oh. I was going to say it might work, but Phoenix is blocking that suplex attempt. TJ going to try for a third time. Oh! Nicely done. But Phoenix straight back up to her feet. I mean, she's holding her back, but ah, she's not ashes. giving in. Let's see what you did there. Thank you. Look out. Oh! Oh, Phoenix... I think she landed on the back of her neck. Well, that went wrong. I think she... TJ looking for the spear there, but, but Phoenix somehow coming off that corner prematurely, and now the advantage remains with TJ. TJ putting her in that corner, using a chokehold, really trying to use the situation to his advantage now and make sure that he escapes with the win. And again, goes to that big spear, but hits the corner. Phoenix now looking to try and roll him up from that corner post, but unfortunately, TJ just too strong for her. Phoenix like, might have a concussion, she landed hard on the back of her head, look out! That's right, but Phoenix now kicking out! Drop kick to the shin! Oh, packaging him up, no! Oh. Barely a two count there, barely a two count. She Both these competitors are determined to win here. She had that package up tight, but TJ still kicked out. TJ putting Phoenix back into that corner. Oh. Why, why not? Because that corner has been Phoenix's nemesis so far. Yeah, it's like a handicap match. TJ in the corner post. Kick to the midsection. TJ looking to finish it now. Okay. Looking for a big power bomb, maybe. Oh, oh. Phoenix. Phoenix punching out. Oh! oh right. What a move. What a move there from Phoenix, using every last bit of strength she has. Phoenix is looking a, a bit out of it. Yeah, she's looking very groggy. Actually, she's not got a concussion, we're hoping. Both these competitors have taken a being a big suplex from Phoenix. I think I think Phoenix may be a bit paid off. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Yeah. Oh! Oh, Ooh, suplex! I thought he was going for the brain buster. Oh, delayed vertical suplex there. And again, that's going to mean that rush of blood to the head there for Phoenix. This yeah. is not looking good for her. TJ mastering those suplexes. It, not only mastering the suplexes, but the strategy of taking advantage of that possibly injured head. He's going for it again. Phoenix again. Oh, oh shit, power bomb. That's got to be it. Two. No! Oh, kick out of two. How did Phoenix kick out of that? It's got to be through instinct alone right now, Stickman. Well, but I tell you what, though, TJ is not happy about this either. And I tell you what, Re Miss Rebecca, you're going to have blood oh! in your pants. What? Sunset bomb! One, two! Oh! No! She sunset bombed him out of the power bomb attempt. Yeah! TJ. What impressive athleticism from these two young athletes. TJ yeah. deciding discretion is the better part of Valor and, and getting away. That one really was from the Ashes. Wow. Sunset bomb from the reversal of the power bomb. Almost at the three. Now oh, go. and Phoenix walks into TJ's trap. That was a big forearm to the what could be an already injured oh. face. What was that? I didn't an, I Another that. blow to the head, but this time on the corner of the ring post. Oh. And Went into the ring apron, I saw that one. Referee's got the count. You've got to think, TJ's looking for a knockout here. Oh. Phoenix there, throwing TJ into a wall. This has turned vicious, Glenn. Yeah, this, we were. These are two very recent juniors, but this is vicious. Referee's got the count, they're gonna watch that count. Whoa! Oh, head first, there's your receipt, TJ. Phoenix, Phoenix giving is, a receipt with venom now. Yeah, Phoenix is showing fire. Pun not intended that time. Oh, Phoenix rolling in and out the ring to break up that count of the referee. 
Oh, TJ blocked that one. She could have won this with a, with a count out, but she decided she wants to win it with a pinfall. And I yeah. can't help but think that's going to be a mistake because again, a head hitting that corner post one more time. I'm just going to say it, they're beating the hell out of each other. They really are. This is a, a vicious, vicious oh! rivalry. Oh! oh, no more little TJs in the future. Oh. You know what? I'm not sure either of these are going to be able to compete on the main oh! roster because there's going to be nothing left of them at this rate. Oh, I felt that from here. Oh, I'm going to watch that count though. T well, TJ's TJ breaking it this time. TJ breaks up the count now. Even TJ don't want to win this by count out. This is brutal. This is personal. These two are trying to destroy each other. I don't think we expected this going in. No, did we? absolutely not. But I tell you what, I'm loving it. These, these juniors are, and recent graduate juniors are showing that they belong on the main roster. Wow. Phoenix in front of her. She's holding a nose. Not sure she had a broken nose, maybe. Wouldn't be surprised at this point, Stickman. No. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if either of these broke, leave with broken faces. Oh! <laughs> Referee oh! telling him to get back in the ring, but... He just need him right in the face, Phoenix. Wow. This is brutal. Have we got an Anarchy Rules match later? <laughs> it's just... I, I'm not sure anyone's going to top this, uh, Glenn. Phoenix! This is pure violence. They, they may be showing they want in the Anarchy division. <laughs> even, even Miss Rebecca is stunned. <laughs> Miss Rebecca's left. That's how stunned she is. I don't even know if I'm supposed to announce the winner of this well, match. Miss Rebecca knows. I've spoken to her about health and safety in the past, and she knows she's got a duty of care to everyone, the competitors, the commentators, the referees, but most of all, these two young people here. Referee, just let him go. This is absolutely brutal. But this, they need to get back in the ring because no one's going to win unless they pin... The other member, because well, clearly yeah. neither of them wants to win well, by count out. Oh! Phoenix with a baseball, baseball slide. slide. Was that. Referees. Was that a count out? It was a count out. Okay. Wow. Well. It's a winner by a count out by the look of things. Phoenix has won by count out. So, your winner by count out and moving up to the main roster, Phoenix! Oh, that was absolutely brutal. That was brutal. Hard-hitting, violent, crap out of each other. personal. <laughs> Miss Rebecca has literally got blood on her hands. I don't know about you, I don't want to see that rematch. I don't think we've seen the end of this, Glenn. I don't think we've seen the end of this.